Nowadays, people with disabilities, especially me, being diagnosed with autism and mild intellectual disability since my early childhood, would always raise necessary questions, thoughts, problem-solving missions and tasks, and opinions that do not have quick and easy, short and straightforward answers and solutions. It is complicated, difficult, and disheartening as they all get at times. I and people with disabilities face all kinds of shame, which means a mark of disgrace associated with any circumstances, qualities, or people. Furthermore, as for friendships and relationships, and even sometimes acquaintanceships, along with this entire matter, our world gets shattered so often making us all vulnerable to being wounded by broken relationships and pushed around by bureaucracies. But I and people with disabilities are far more likely to experience bigger and deeper wounds that often repeatedly so, such as stigma, segregation, being bullied, and so on. And the worst thing about it is that, for years, there have been no laws or money being passed on that can address this concern as effectively as personal and freely given relationships. Luckily, hope has been found through family, friends, and advocates. The need is for personal human relationships which are motivated by love. People and I with disabilities are more capable than other people think nowadays. We should all give ourselves our chances to shine without being misinterpreted and misunderstood, misjudged, accused, underestimated, underrated, or even under any type of common negative assumption whatsoever. Additionally, until we either each pass away from this world at the end of our lives or this world itself comes to its very end of time, I and people with disabilities do have positive and vital rights to follow to help make our disabled lives and our world a better place to live in. The foundation of the problem is that any organization does not address any disability symptoms, but it is the attitudes, feelings, and sincerities that matter.